that's a tough question. <laughs> I think it's important to have female role, mo role models um, to help girls get into squash because once you see it you feel like you can actually be that kind of person. Um, for me when I was growing up um, that's who I looked up to and I think in every sport not just squash it's, it's just so important to have that, um, that role model to look up to as I said because then once you see it you can be it um, and it's, it's so uplifting to see uh, other females um, in their own sport and for us to look up to. Uh, my role model was probably Cassie Jackman um, and also um, Sarah Fitzgerald as well uh, and then later on sort of throughout my career um, Nicole David I think was a big one. Um, I think when you watch female, other female athletes play when you're younger you have something to look up to and as I said it's very very inspiring and you think if they can do it why not can I, why can't I do it as well yeah I think so had they not been there definitely um, I, I know it from experience in other sports um, had I seen other female role models in other sports also might have picked that up so I think it was something that I always looked up to um, and yeah now I think it's great in every sport there are so many great female athletes now um, competing in every, almost every sport. Um, so as a kid, you have a lot more choice than probably I did um, when I was a bit younger. So they were very, very important to me. I think being a woman in squash, there is definitely a few challenges. Um, but I would say on the whole, I've been really, really lucky in my career um, and haven't sort of felt that um, too challenging. I think for a while obviously we had the prize money was very different female, male um, and that has massively changed now on the tour so I think that's one challenge that um, was quite difficult at the start to see that. Um, I think the, the biggest challenge in terms of young girls is the, the lack of girls playing at the same time in the same age group and it can put a lot of girls off playing. Um, I was quite happy to sort of go on and play with the boys didn't really bother me but I think that's something that's a big challenge is to get a group of girls that are friends and all play squash together to encourage each other I think is probably the biggest challenge. I think that in, in squash we can definitely expose women's squash more uh, in terms of getting more kids into playing it and I think the one way that the tour could help that is maybe during events having uh, girls only uh, lessons or classes, maybe ideally led by a female pro, but if not, just having someone take a girls only class um, during an event, I think that would be great and it would just make them feel a bit more comfortable and then that way we would grow and grow the game that way and get more exposure um, from doing girls only classes. I think, as I said, that would help massively then in feeding into the pros seeing that there's a path for us as well to go into coaching. I think that's still a bit of a block um, that there's not that many, but I've certainly noticed in the last five, six years how many more female coaches there is, and I think that's really good for the game. Um, it's a massive difference. I personally switched to a female coach in the last two seasons, um, or season and a half, and I found a massive, massive difference because there's no, they just, with female coaches, they understand and they get it, and they know what it's like to be a female on tour we have a lot more uh, complicated sort of mentality, I think, at times, and we also have a lot more stuff to deal with during competitions that's not just about squash. Um, and I think the main thing is they can understand that and they can help and they can feed back their own experiences of how that is. Um, so I think it's really, really important and it's great to see so many ex-pros now, uh, female pros especially, going into coaching um, and becoming a big part of the pro game. I hope that you know when I retire from squash, the legacy that I leave is that it was I had a fun career. I think um, you know it's the elite level of being on the tour is is obviously all about what you win and and, and that kind of thing. And I, I totally understand that. Um, and so I'll definitely look back on on that. But I think for my own personal sake, I wanted to always have fun and enjoy myself and show that and breed my own personality onto the tour. Um, and I think it's really, really important for the game that we have that um, and so my legacy would be 
that I really enjoyed myself. I competed hard, competed fair, but I really enjoyed myself and left no sort of enjoyment out of it uh, when I retired.